Is there a worse food for us runners in our 50s, 60s, and 70s? There is one. And if you're expecting to be fit and healthy as you age, you should avoid it at all costs. Hi, I'm Herb the Forever Runner. I'm a heart attack survivor, ultra runner, and coach who's on a mission to help runners just like you run forever faster after 50. Part of being a forever runner is eating a healthy diet. So if I offered you a glass of motor oil, would you drink it? I would guess absolutely not. But that's what you may be doing every day without even knowing it. Here's the deal. There's a group of fats and oils on the shelves and in our food that are essentially motor oil. That is the polyunsaturated vegetable and seed oils. These are chemically derived fats developed just within the last 100 years. They are cheap to manufacture, so you'll find them on most processed foods and restaurants. These vegetable and seed oils are metabolically unstable and our bodies can efficiently process them so they remain as fat longer around your waist and cause chronic inflammation. So why do I call them motor oil? Well, think about it. What do restaurants do with their leftover oil? Does it go to the compost to create healthy soil to grow more food? No, it gets hauled off to be processed into diesel fuel. But what is worse is what happens to your body when you eat these bad fats. Remember, these were just chemically created 100 years ago. Your body doesn't recognize these fats as food. So they get incompletely metabolized, create free radicals, and specifically prevent your fat cells to be used for energy. This is one of the reasons that even though you're eating healthy and exercising, you still can't lose that last five to 10 pounds. So what should we do? First, get all these bad fats out of your house. We're talking corn, soy, and canola oil. Then replace those fats with healthy alternatives, such as olive, avocado, and coconut oil. Then, Next time you eat out, be sure you support restaurants that use natural fats and oils in their meal preparation. Eliminating these bad fats from your diet is part of step one of my nine step forever runner method. It's the first thing I talk with about my clients. It's that important. So if you wanna learn more about what are bad fats and good fats, click the link in the description and I'll send you my bad fats to avoid cheat sheet. Here it is. <laughs> this is a list of good and bad fats put together by Dr. Kate Shanahan, a leading proponent of ditching all those harmful fats. So get your cheat sheet and start your journey to be a forever runner. I'll see you soon.